Right, here we are at Legends Gym in Rugeley, and Brian has been training me uh, personal tuition for the last four weeks, although we did go away and do a, do a movie. Yes. Uh, but you've been getting me into good shape, mate. Yeah, well, we're trying. Today, we're going to be doing a session with Scott um, to get him ready for his next film. We want him big for Kickboxer 3. Maybe not this big, but I'll do my best. <laughs> but who knows? I am putting on muscle, he's a great trainer. Very quickly, he's a pleasure to train, to be fair. So uh, he's growing very quickly, he listens and he trains quite hard, but it's gonna get harder. So before you know it, I'm gonna be like Brian up there. Yes, why not? Why not? <laughs> right, we're doing chest, um, shoulders and triceps today. So we're gonna um, do a cable crossover movement just to get some blood into the chest and then we'll move on to some core bench pressing. Lower pecs, eh, Brian? This one, lower pecs? It's, it's all over, um, depending on your, your movement. <sighs> right, second set. It's not about how heavy the weight is, it's about how hard you work the muscle. It's also no about egos control. Here. We don't want to lift heavy weight badly, we want to lift a weight where we're doing it with full control, hitting that target muscle. So. To be honest, I, I've injured myself in the past, just from weight training. I mean, I've done all those martial arts films and everything, and the, mar and the martial arts fights, but I've injured myself more from training badly. So, I've got to train smart. Especially at our sort of age. What? What? What are you saying? Right, second exercise uh, for Scott today. Low incline uh, barbell press uh, done on the Smith's machine for safety. Scott needs to work his upper chest a little bit more. That's lagging as compared to his lower chest. I lost a bit of muscle. I haven't been bulky signs for a bit, but just trying to get back to it now. It's not easy. Got to make sure you're eating the right food, have a good diet. And uh, at the end of the day, just got to train hard, but train smart. And I believe the main thing is consistency. Relentless consistency. You've got to do everything for a long amount of time. We get so many people coming into the gym and they want to change their bodies overnight and it just doesn't happen. You know, you've got to do it for weeks and months, putting the food in, resting, training. To make sure you stick to the, the schedule of doing it, you know, three times a week or whatever it is. Don't miss any sessions. Even if you feel a bit rough one day, just have a, have a light one, but consistency is key, right? Definitely, yes. I've never had a trainer before. Self-taught, you know, reading the Joe Weeder books and all sorts of stuff. Because it's easy to just coast and not push yourself sometimes, but when you've got somebody like him on your case. Right, second set, we've had a little bit of weight on, so let's see what we can do. One, good. Just keep that control. 12, 11. Ah, starting to feel like I'm coming. <laughs> so I'm coming day and night. We're going to add a little bit more weight. He doesn't let me take any rep off. I have to do all of them. Ah. So we're going to keep that control. It's all about the control. Pumped, feeling pumped. What do you think, Arnold? How am I doing? I think you're training like a jolly man. Okay. He likes to mess about. <laughs> legends Gym, where legends train. It's hard to it's hard to put the muscle on. I find when you're doing like so much cardio, and I know how important it is to go home, eat, and sleep. Yes, this is where your food comes in, yeah, definitely. Right. So speed is a big thing for you, isn't it? Speed. It's a balance for Scott with his, um, you know, too much heavy muscles going to slow him down. That's our aim. We want him to look good, but still be quick. So, uh, and I've got to say, I just love, I love weight training. I've always enjoyed it. Just gives you that, I don't know, like a sense of achievement. You can come to the gym almost in a bad mood or depressed and you leave it feeling like you've achieved something. Um, a lot of people do, and it's, it's very good for mental health, I think, so 
Um, a lot of people suffered during COVID, didn't they, when they couldn't come to the gym? Yes. What a terrible mistake that was. Mm. This is what we need to do. We need to stress the body. So last week when we did this, Scott went up to 20 kilos on that. Uh, this week, we're going to push it a little bit more, 20, 22 and a half. We need to stress the body for it to adapt. So we want to grow more muscle. Let's get out of this comfort zone. Two. Nice. Three. Keep them like that. Up. Four. Six. Come on. Mm. Now it's time to wobble. Come on. Mindset. Up, up, up. Seven. Come on. Up, up, up. Mm. One more. Come on. One more. Come on. Mm. See, the problem is, I still have to train in martial arts at least twice a week. But, uh, you know. Keep pushing. The last exercise we're going to do today uh, for Scott is pec deck. Just going to finish the chest off, absolutely drain it, and then we're going to move on to shoulders. Drainage! Just focus on squeezing that chest at the top of the movement. Two. As you can see, it's working quite nicely there. We want chest like Bolo Young in Bloodsport. Big that I, can, I, can't, I can't get it off anymore. Ah, yeah. Physique's definitely changed in the last um, couple of weeks we've been training. Definitely changed. I'm even surprised. Yeah, getting back to boy size. And it hasn't been long training with you when I went and did that film, so we're only on like the third week or something. And you came back very lean, but I said, oh my God, well, have you not been eating? So obviously busy work schedule with filming. and Fighting Marco Zerul will do that to you. There's no need to push the weight too much on this. This is more of a finisher, so we've done the heavy weights with the compound movements, so uh, we're just draining the, the last little bit of energy out. Drainage! As you can see, I didn't bother doing my hair this morning. Had to get the kids to school. I was in a rush. But this is this is me in my natural habitat in the gym. One, two. We can quite clearly see where this is working. Very um, very much a chest exercise. Although we are getting some little bit of shoulders into it as well. Squeeze! Come on! Come on! Come on! Nine. Just one more. Give me one more. Push, push, push. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Pull, 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 pull. Done. Nice. Done. Finished. He always adds a rep. I'm counting. On it. In my head, I'm six. And then I hear five. We've finished chest off now, so we're going to move on to shoulders. Scott's got limited range of movement, so I would like to use the machine, but he, he struggles with that. That's only because of how hard I am. But free weights is a must as well to do, so. Should I get arrogant on it, Brian, and go for 15? Because my ego's kicked in for the fans at home watching. Sorry. Now, let's see. I am getting stronger, so let's see. <clears throat> How many? Get to film the good side. So that's real, real, real ass sweat. We can afford to drop the rep range a bit. What we want to do is be getting towards failure. So, uh... Oh, I 
probably you need to just have a, a little bit more rest. We're going quite quickly, aren't you? So you're not, the muscle's not recovering. It's not performing as well as it, as it should, so. Cram! Right, next exercise moving on, to, moving on from shoulder press is um, side lateral raises. A must for that nice round, big shoulder look. Three, as we can see it's targeting this area here. Four, six, keep it nice and steady. Seven, very controlled. Eight. And I'm bringing it all the way back here so I'm getting a nice stretch, right? to know, yes, I've got about 15 of the same black vests. Some of them have more holes in than others. And I've got about five of these black tops. And I just wear the same stuff all the time. We've put the weight up a little bit, um, so we'll, therefore we'll reduce the rep range down. So we're looking at 10 to 12. This will be a bit more taxing for you. That was probably a little bit easy. We don't like easy, we like hard. Right, rest for a moment. It's quite bizarre, isn't it, that with weight training, failure, you know, most people think failure is bad in weight training or bodybuilding, failure is good. We need to take the body to failure. And I say to people sometimes quite, well, quite funny, I say, oh, you failed on that. Oh, have I? That's really bad. No, it's really good. It's when I fail at these acting auditions that I really don't worry. But you either win or learn, right? You don't win or lose, you win or learn. When I didn't get that part in Roadhouse, I learnt my lesson. I learned that I'm not Conor McGregor. Right, that's it then. Oh. Least, uh, two. See them delts popping. Three. The delts are popping out now. Four. Come on, delt. Get out of your hole. Yeah. 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 One of the burning questions I have in my mind on a regular basis, especially when I'm weight training with Arnold above me, why has nobody yet made, remade The Running Man? That film should be remade. I'm not even saying with me in it. But I'll take one of the, I'll play Buzzsaw, I don't care. I'd love to be in it. But yeah, Running Man, what a great film. Last exercise for shoulders, we're going to utilise the cables again and we're going to do a front raise. So you've done these before, haven't you? So instead of doing a side raise, we're going to do a front raise, hit the front delt, and we've hit all muscle groups within the shoulder. Conan, what is best in life? So your enemies cast before you in the lamentation of the women. I oh, don't. Go carried away. There was no silly voices then, was there? <laughs> As you can see, Scott's very lean. He's got veins coming out in his shoulders there. Always a good sign. 
especially when you're working hard. So just like Stallone. Chest, shoulders done. Now we move on to triceps. Again, we'll start with no weight on the bar because the bar is actually 22 kilos unloaded. For me, it's the best exercise for triceps to, for putting mass on. I don't think there's one better than this. The only downside to this, it can be a bit elbow nasty. So uh, I like to cycle this in and out of workouts while the elbows are good, do it. When they start getting a little bit of pain, then we take it out and do something else. And then put it in again when the elbows are okay. And you like to have the arms back, right? So. Yes, when the arms are there, um, lying down there, then there's not so much tension. When you move them back to there, you can feel it straight away and the tension's on all the while. Yeah, yeah, you get a massive stretch. So it's all good. Um, and I like doing it on the Smith's machine because it's so easy to spot. So instead of get, having to get sort of over here and spot it here, because it's fixed, I can spot it here quite nicely. So again, we're going to that safety aspect. Let me go and put some more weight on. I think we're just. I'm training, isn't it? Yeah. Two. Six. Oh, oh, oh. Nine. Last one. Oh, oh, oh. Ten. Okay. I do think my triceps are lacking, actually because uh, I have got like genetically smaller arms and chest and back, I think. But I, I damaged my neck once here and uh, I lost a lot of, couldn't tense my tricep. Two thirds of the arm now. Yeah, I was right? just gonna say in bodybuilding terms, your tricep should make up two thirds of your arm. So yeah, we need them, we need them bigger. You've been very careful with the weight selection, never to go too heavy, but I'm always working uh, as, as hard as I can. And you know, the results are speaking for themselves. I, I'm getting bigger. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think what it is, I think you've got, to, you've got to get the connection between the muscle. They always talk about this mind-muscle connection and it, I think it is there. You've got to target, be able to target the muscle where some people, maybe they'll go on the bench press and they'll do a heavy bench press and they won't be targeting all of the muscle. They'll be targeting, bringing other muscles in such as triceps and shoulders where you know you want to be trying to isolate that and the only way you can do that is to maybe drop the weight a little bit and is that you get that connection with the muscle then you can add the weight so start with good form and then up the weight the weight will just come naturally so that, that's the plan that's the one yeah yeah oh. always know that i'm really working hard when I start doing the foot tapping you have to see the foot tapping, you know I'm putting the work in. Whatever helps you get the most out of the set, do it. If it's screaming, yeah, if it's whatever. I tend to close my eyes and try and find my happy place, I think. Yeah. And just get through it. Yeah. I think the people that do the best in bodybuilding can like switch off from the pain and then try and go through and just keep going. And they've got to put up with serious pain. You've got serious to make pain. your mind as chaos as fuck. <laughs> Avengement for people. And if you're a real Scott, Scott Atkins fan, you know that. I just swallowed my tongue. <laughs> First day I came here, hadn't even paid my membership yet. Just walked straight in, put that right there, walked into Brian's office and said, things are going to change around here, mate. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it, but I was, I was thinking to myself, it's a bit small. It's not as big as the Arnold ones. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to split at the top. So keep your arms backwards so it's not rubbing on the back. That's it. Seven. Eight. Oh, oh. Finish these triceps up. Nine. Up. Oh. Ten. Twelve. Oh. Eleven. Last one. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. That's it. That's it. A little bit even. I've trained with many legends. I've trained with Arnold. I've 
trained with Sly, I've trained with Van Damme, I've trained with Dolph, I've trained with Michael Jai White, I've trained with Marco Zerol. But I'm having the most fun training with Brian. A legend's gym, putting on some mass. It's all about. I have dropped it a little bit actually because we struggled on that last set, so we can hopefully get a few more reps out. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get a failure, whatever that one does. Ten. I'm coming. Eleven. Up, up, up. Twelve. Keep them coming. Up, 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 up. Thirteen. Come on, Boykin mentality. Fourteen. Last one. Up, 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 up. Ah, okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. Nice. Ah, I'm going to see what is happening with the masterpiece. Boyka, it's coming back. See what we've targeted on Scott. If Scott turns round, as you can see, he's quite blessed with a heavy under chest. So we're aiming to build here. We also want some width on here, that's with the lateral raises, so we want to build it out here. Obviously arms just want bigger. Um, back's pretty good to be fair. Yeah. So, uh, so this, is the, this is the thing, we, we pick out the parts and adjust the training to what he needs to do or what I feel he needs to do from a um, bodybuilding perspective. The abs are always there. Although I need to work on my lower abs more. It's not easy growing up wanting to be the new Bruce Lee and realise that you're Chuck Norris. But, you know, as time's gone by, I realise how damn cool Chuck is. So it's fine. I'm keeping it. Me and you, Chuck. Let's go. Scores out. What's that over there? Hang on. Bang. What's that over there? So that was it. That's chest, shoulders, triceps. Good workout, Brian. How, how am I getting on? Doing good? Doing good. You're finding your feet and we're moving slowly upwards and we've just um, assessed your physique. It's coming on nice. So uh, a few more weeks, although you'll be away in a few weeks, so we'll do our utmost to, to get the maximum out of it. And uh, when you come back, we'll go again and um, we'll keep raising that bar and getting you better and better. Best thing about training with Brian is he doesn't let me skip leg day. Oh, so no. my legs are getting big as well. I've been, I'm really guilty of that, I've got to be honest, because I had some problems with my back, that's my excuse anyway. But anyway, uh, yeah, Legends Gym. Thanks a lot, Brian. And uh, we're getting bigger, yes. nice one. It's been a pleasure.